Lots of us love getting fitness inspiration from social media, but the problem is it's false. The majority of posts you'll see are going to be just people celebrating their success. It's something we're guilty of with our account here at CrossFit Chilton. You'll see people posting their PBs, photos of themselves smiling, uh, of, and screenshots of their last amazing run or bike ride they achieved. What you rarely see is someone failing a movement or a lift or sucking at a workout, dialing it in on those days where there's little motivation. I've posted previously that I believe that if we reviewed 10 workouts out of five stars, we would probably give a one star review to one or two of those workouts out of 10. Maybe one or two of those will get two stars. Probably the majority will be a three star or moderate rating for that workout. And we might get one, four, and if we're really lucky, a five star workout out of 10. Most of the work that we do in the gym individually, we would probably rate as mediocre. I enjoy training and what I do. However, that does not mean that I'm always motivated to train. Often it's a grind. I may have had grand plans the night before about a huge workout, but on the day I just end up doing the bare minimum. The danger with social media is that it looks our lives in rose tinted glasses. Being a new parent of a two year old and a 12 week old, I often see pictures of perfect families in perfect situations. Social media influences suggesting the best way to develop your child. My favorite child development accounts are not the ones that only show perfection. They are the ones that show the 10 minutes either side of the perfect moment when the kids are having a meltdown. This is far more reassuring and far less demoralizing when you realize that there are other people going through the same dramas as yourself. The fitness industry is even more guilty of this and is one area that I want to improve from our point of view here at CrossFit Chilton. I believe it's going to be need to be done from my personal perspective, however, as I'm not sure how many of the members I can encourage to post videos of their darker moments within the gym. So I thought what I do today is go through a typical workout hour for me. In fact, I was discussing this with one of our coaches, Helen, yesterday after I completed this workout and I was talking about what goes through my mind throughout that work. And I thought it would be interesting, maybe entertaining to hear about my mind during a workout. Now, I'm fortunate that I work every day here at the box and therefore I do not have to make the conscious decision to travel to the gym. This is often the hardest movement for most people when training is getting off that sofa into the car or out onto the street and get to the gym. I start my workout pretty happy because I'm doing my basic prehab. This is ankle mobility and a specific shoulder warm up. This is a sign of my aging body and it's something I will discuss in terms of the shift of training as you age in a future episode. It's when I start to ramp up the intensity is where I often procrastinate. The great thing about being in a class environment is you have no choice but to go with the crowd and therefore when they ramp up the intensity, you have to go along with them. On your own, I find it much easier to go slow. This goes from the start of the warm up into the pre-WOD practice rounds. I will always preach, and I know that the best practice is to go through practice rounds, building intensity, especially for short, hard, intense workouts. But on my own, it takes me a lot of convincing to get that work done. So no, I'm not going into these workouts full blast, fully motivated. So what I want to do now is go through my actual workout that I did yesterday and my thoughts before, during, and after that workout. So yesterday I completed open workout 17.1. There's a 20 minute time cap on this workout and it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, alternating dumbbell snatches. So that's pulling the dumbbell from the floor to overhead. After each round, you have to complete 15 burpee box jumps. Five minutes before the workout, I'm thinking about strategizing the workout. So I'm thinking, all right, 30 seconds is gonna take for each 10 snatches that I do. 
and it's going to take me about 2 minutes 30 to do the burpee dog jumps if I'm moving slowly. That's going to leave me about 7 minutes and 30 of snatches and 12 minutes and 30 of burpees. So if I stay ahead of that time, I'm going to beat the time cap. So in my mind is a logical thought. Two minutes before the workout, my mindset is, I'm not sure I want to do this um, and do not try and keep up with my training partner, Helen, who is incredibly fit, especially these movements. I tell myself before the workout, just, just get it done. Let's get done 10 seconds before we can start. Let's get going. Minute one of this workout that takes me somewhere in under 20 minutes. So I'm thinking in my mind, I'm so fast, it's great. Burpees don't feel too bad. Three minutes in, second lot of snatches have been done. I've done those 20 snatches, I'm broken and I'm feeling okay, great. Five minutes in, I'm onto the 30 snatches again. I'm saying, let's go, I'm broken. I'm starting the snatches off, they feel good still. Five minutes, 50, did the snatches, I'm broken. Starting to feel tough. I reckon I could do the next lot of 40 in two sets. Then it starts to turn a little bit darker in my thoughts. Seven minutes gone, Helen's alongside me. I'm thinking Helen's crushing me at this point. I'm going so slow on these burpee box jumps. These next 40 snatches are gonna feel pretty unpleasant. Nine minutes 30 in, I'm in the middle of my set of 40 snatches and I have to take a 30 second rest. And all I'm thinking right then is I wish I could quit, but I can't do that in front of someone um, or even at myself. I just, I'm preaching that you should be pushing on. So I, I wish I could. I'm thinking about how I could get away with quitting and I can't. I'm 12 minutes 30 into the workout now and I've just seen uh, my training partner finish that workout and I've only just got through. Um, I, I'm in the middle of my 15 burpee box jumps. I'm looking at the clock and I'm just saying to myself, I think I'm going to stop at any minute. I just can't go on any longer. I know I've got a long way to go. Another minute goes by, 13 and a half minutes gone. And I just remember thinking to myself, there's no chance of me finishing this, finishing this workout in under 20 minutes. So what, what's the point? I might as well just plod along, try and get comfortable, try and get my breathing back um, and just cap out on this workout, get the 20 minutes and just whatever I get to, I'll get to. Another minute goes by, just starting that round of 50 snatches, so the big round of 50, and I'm just thinking, maybe I'll just stop. Why do I need to finish this workout? Maybe I can claim I've got injured or I'm trying to, you know, find an excuse to get out of that workout in my head. This is going through my head whilst I'm uh, dying in the middle of this workout. Okay, I'm 15 and a half minutes gone. I'm breaking the snatches more than I want. Uh, and I've forgotten at this point that I started the time of 30 seconds before I started the workout. So the clock isn't necessarily accurate for me at the moment. Helen asks where I am. I just can't respond. I can't even think about talking at this point. In my mind, I'm saying, I've got four minutes left. There's no chance I'm getting this done. I just wish, wish it would be over right now. Two and a half minutes to go, starting the 15 burpee box jumps. I actually only think I've got two minutes left because I've forgotten about the 30 second delay when I started the timer and actually started the workout. And I just go to myself, there is no chance to finish this and two minutes to go. I'm just going to plod on. One minute later, I think I've got one minute left. I'm just going to say, right, I'm going to accelerate now. I actually find some kind of positive mindset and I think maybe I can finish. I've got, I get to that 30 seconds longer and I'm thinking I've got 30 seconds to go. So I push, 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 push. 20 seconds later, I get the workout done. I actually thought I only had 10 seconds left, so that's what made me go faster. Um, I drop off the box, I scream at Helen to turn the music off as I felt like my head was going to explode. I'm lying on the floor, dead, basically, just sucking up the air. Um, Realised then that I had actually 30 seconds to take off, so it made me actually quite a bit happier. But as you can maybe hear from the way I'm describing it, there was no point in that workout where I was enjoying it, uh, maybe for the after the first set of snatches and midway through those burpees, I felt I was doing okay. But um, in reflection, following that work, I'm happy. Uh, I maybe could have got a little bit of time off it. I pushed a bit harder, but I checked my Garmin heart rate stats and it showed my average heart rate was 183 beats per minute during that workout um, and a max heart rate of 195. So it, there was a reason it was so uncomfortable. This was actually 
a better day's training for me in terms of uh, my mindset throughout. I know I finished a long way behind one of the coaches, but she set a time that was outstanding. For me, it was a really good result to get it finished. But just listening to that internal dialogue, you can hear that my head is not always in a good place. Quite, a, not quite often, all the time. I'm talking internally for distraction throughout. Um, and almost every workout, there's a point where I think about just to give up right now. All that stops me from quitting is that it would be setting a bad example, whether that's me training on my own or training with someone else. For me, most of the time, just completing a workout is an achievement. I would rate yesterday's workout as a three-star workout day. I can't remember the last time I had a five-star day where I'd actually come away thinking, this is a perfect day. Uh, however, if you think about, if I did it on social media, I could have posted a picture of myself um, post-workout, stating how I beat a PR, smiling, you know, and everyone would be like, oh, amazing, what a great work. Um, I did beat a PR, but technically I did it four years ago and I was scaling it, so there's a big change from, uh, from then. The reality of that workout, it was a brutal test. I did not enjoy it. I do enjoy the fact that I actually finished the workout and the satisfaction from that, especially because there, there was a, a time where I wanted to quit uh, and I pushed through. There's always a bit of satisfaction when you push through those dark moments. Um, but don't judge yourself against people on social media because most people struggle to even get to the gym or to lose weight. I mean, over the last lockdown, I gained seven kilos just because of the overwhelming stress that caused me to eat my feelings, I always say, and the fact I couldn't put any intensity in because my head was not in the game. Always remember, most sessions are not perfect or even good. All you can do is just show up, try every single time. If you've done anything in the move, any movement in the gym, you should class that as a success. Ignore the barrage of positivity you see on social media because it is not the truth. Use it to motivate you if you find it helps, but don't compare yourself to others because the reality is they are probably going through the same struggles as you are. They're just not posting about it on a daily basis. Every time you get up and you move, whether you get up off the sofa and do 10 press-ups in the ad break, or you come and do a full work at the gym, treat it as a success. You're still doing more than you would have done if you hadn't have moved. Hope you enjoyed that video. I will try and balance our social media a little bit more in the future, post some more fail videos. I posted one of my failing a clean. I maybe post a video of me slogging through a workout, especially something that involves me moving my body weight around because you'll see the plod go on. And hope you're enjoying these videos and I'll speak to you soon.